Youth runner here with uh, the women from Chibrico Hills. Mustangs putting five in the top eight, six in the top 15, all seven of these outstanding athletes in the top 21, back-to-back -back champions uh, here at the, uh, the South Coast League, and obviously uh, another incredible indication of the potential uh, of, of this group as we head toward Southern Section prelims and finals, uh, state meet, uh, and the ultimate destination, uh, December 7th at Glendiver Golf Course in Oregon. Going to come uh, to the back-to-back -back individual champion, Holly Barker. As you and I talked about, just uh, like just the energy and just everybody, you know, feeling whole. Uh, like just, I, I mean, obviously, I know that uh, you know that not everybody was going to race at Mount Sac, but just like when this group is unified and like when we get to see uh, the sum of the parts, like just uh, how, how special are days like today? Because I know that they you know, are very select in, in terms of when the whole group is going to race together. Yeah, I think it meant a lot today just seeing everyone get out here and finally perform all together because, I mean, we all show up at practice and we work hard together as a team. And so to see it actually make an appearance in a race like today means a lot to all of us. And it's just a really special experience because we all know what we're capable of for we all know what each other are capable of and so it's just a matter of proving it to ourselves on race day and it was just really fun in terms of uh patience uh, i mean obviously you, you know you want to make sure that you have a lot left you know in, in november and ultimately in, uh, into december but like d did it require a lot of patience uh, for, for you and the group especially like what a emotional high it was at OC Championships, like when the next opportunity was going to be to show that? Yeah, I think since OC Champs and even before that, I think we've just been keeping each other motivated and healthy especially, and I think just leading, <laughs> <laughs> leading into better races. <laughs> Sorry. I think, I think just leading into a bigger races like CIF and, and XN, it's, it's really exciting for all this stuff. It's, I'm so sorry. No worries. I'm so sorry, but um, it just... It's really exciting for all of us, and I think since OC Champs, we've really had a lot of motivation to keep, just keep grinding and keep keep each other motivated to keep going like we have been. And we're honestly just getting started, so it's exciting. Absolutely. Anna Desormo, so good to see you uh, operating at, the, at at this level. When when something like you know, really scary and uncertain you know unfolds like like it did at Mount Sac, like just to be, able, to be able to have the support of these incredible women, the support of Coach Kelly, you know, family, like just uh, how like. I mean, obviously, I never want to see that happen you know, to any elite athlete. But just you know, when you have uh, uh, that group that's just reassuring you that it's like, hey, it's an exception. It's not. Uh, it's not the norm. Like, how important has that been for you the pa uh, past couple weeks? Yeah, it's been really important. I had the same thing happen to me at Woodbridge, so we kind of um, knew that something might happen, and it's kind of just been weighing on my mind this entire season. But it was really like helpful to have like coaches and teammates that like would let me practice how I needed to train my legs to get to where I needed to be this season. So I'm definitely uh, happy to see improvements this time, and I just hope it doesn't happen again. And uh, none of us want it, but I mean, like, just, but, ha like, there's, the words that I keep using today are just joy and appreciation and empowerment and whatnot. Like, are, like, are, like, are you feeling that yeah. Uh, today? Yeah, honestly. Um, I know a PR is great. I had a PR today, which made me really happy, definitely. But coming into it, I would have been happy with a 19-minute three-mile as long as I came across that finish line. So. Absolutely. Uh, top four. Yeah. Absolutely brilliant. Millie Bayless uh, just, uh, uh, continuing uh, to, to show how strong this group is up, uh, up front and, and, and the depth. Uh, I mean, obviously, you and Holly together, uh, there's only uh, two other groups in the United States that, uh, that offer what the two of you offer uh, uh, together. Uh, just how encouraged uh, were you about, like, you know, especially the, uh, the the way the early part of the race uh, uh, set up, and then just how you and the group were able to uh, uh, to maintain that. Because it's one thing to establish it; it's another thing you know, to, to hold that pace the rest of the way. Yeah, I'm super happy with how we competed with each other. Um, I was glad to go out with Holly that first mile, and uh, I could definitely tell I was starting to drop off a little. But it happens, and that's okay. And I'm so proud of the effort I put in, and I'm so happy for how my teammates ran and how we were able to come together um, to get this team win. I mean, obviously winning last year, but I mean, this league is only continuing to get better. And for, again, you know, this is just kind of the affirmation that it's like, hey, what we did at Orange County Championships, it's like, as long as everybody's healthy and as long as everybody's, you know, mentally locked in, like we can do this, you know, on any course, uh, you know, at any distance, you know, not only in California, but the United States. Like, is this just kind of, like a good affirmation for you in the group, but it's like, it wasn't just one day to celebrate at Orange County Championships, like that we're capable of this as long as we're together the whole time? For sure, yeah, it's 
it gives us a lot of confidence as confidence as a group. I think we just know we're strong together, and um, it's super exciting to go into these next couple races. And um, yeah, we're just gonna show what we can do and continue to be consistent running with each other. Awesome, great job. Thank you. So if you go foil, uh, top six, fantastic effort. What did you feel like you took away from having the opportunity to race at Mount Sac? And you know, and I mean, obviously, not just the competitive aspect, but just kind of realizing what that airstrip gauntlet, last 300 meters yeah. on the track, is going to show you in the group in the in the coming weeks. I mean, it was a really good preview of what CIF is going to look like these next two races. So. Um, it was definitely a good opportunity to be able to, you know, race that. Um, I was kind of sick going into that race, so wasn't really sure if I was going to be able to tow that line, but um, I feel like that race was definitely a much needed one, and it definitely taught me that I am able to race even when I'm not feeling my 100%, which I think that lesson is just going to help me, like, later on in the season. And so. again, much like I was saying to Anna, like, I don't ever want that for any of you, but, uh, uh, but the fact that this group is so unselfish, right? This group wants to give for one another like the fact that you know even the goal the entire seven didn't line up that day like the fact that you wanted to give that you know for your teammates uh and show that, like hey we can be gritty and we can be courageous and we can be tough especially on a course you're gonna have to be twice like, uh, like you know like how how reassuring w w was that for you not only for sophie guilfoyle but just to remind the rest of this group like hey we, we like we can be that resourceful and, and that you know and that resilient and that persevering yeah i mean it honestly just teaches us like you know anything can happen so um, even in like a bad situation, like we know how to work through it. So hopefully that doesn't happen in CIF, obviously, but we know how to handle it now. So most definitely, Skylar Watts. Just in terms of this time of year, right? It's like as much as it already been accomplished. It's like this group is still ambitious and motivated and inspired to run four more races, right? Yeah. Section prelim, section final, state, and uh, and NXN. Like, uh, I mean, obviously you know, pacing the mind, pacing the body, you know, pacing the emotions, but like, mm. is it exciting at the fact that like, as much as we've already done, like we still have, you know, we, we could still showcase the best version of ourselves. I think um, something that like our coach gets a little worried about is like when the rankings come out on Instagram and you know, like we're fourth in the nation or whatever it is. And he like thinks it's gonna get in our head, but honestly, we're just in the mindset of like showing up to each race, each practice, putting in our hundred percent. Like we don't take our success for granted. We, you know, come to races and we're ready to compete and we want to bring our 100% top level of competition no matter what. I'm so glad that you touched upon that because obviously the composure and the maturity yeah. and the, the ability for this group to stay so present, right? Like, mm -hmm. how? I mean, again, whether it was any one of the seven of you's best race with a PR or, you know, or, or a challenging race that you hope, you know, you'll learn from to get better for, you yeah. know, for, for Mount Sac, like this group just stays so present and like appreciates each day, each opportunity to be with one another. Like uh, how important is, uh, is that not only short term, but long term for the group? I think you said it perfectly that we all like appreciate every opportunity that we have to run together. And I feel like that sort of chemistry on a team is gonna help us stay strong and stay resilient throughout the rest of the season. So it's definitely, it's exciting to see that sort of, you know, companionship on a team. Love so. it. Congratulations, Skylar. Thank you. The absolute star of the day right here, Evangeline Williams, uh, eighth place overall uh, as a freshman. She's going to get recognized multiple times uh, at, at the award ceremony. I just, uh, you have done so many amazing things for this group, but just, you know, how uplifting was today for you? It was really awesome, and it's really cool to see that we don't just have a strong, like, top five, but we have a strong top seven, so we can all, like, lean on each other if we're having a bad day. And it was just nice to see that, like, I can... Um, like run how I want to run and I can run fast but also I have all these other teammates who can do the same and so we can all work together to score well. That last mile I mean obviously you know especially with the way Mount Sac is set up now and you were a woman that like Sophie like ran there you know like so to know coming down reservoir and it's going to be airstrip and gauntlet and 300 meters on the track the way that you continued to make up ground Evangeline like and continue to move in that third mile like how, how reassuring is that for you now getting ready for two races at Mount Sac? It's nice it's good to figure out my racing strategy before like the qualifying races when it's really important and so I think it was nice like learning how I can navigate Mount Sac and do well in these next upcoming races. Awesome fantastic job. Thank you. Ella Pinter, uh, just the the, uh, the the fact that like having not only just this wealth of, of support and, fr and and friendship and like Skylar said companionship, but like 
this wealth of knowledge, like this wealth of competitive spirit, like how has that impacted you in, 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 in such a special way, like just to be around them and just to learn from them and, you know, and, and, you know, develop with them every day? Well, it's, I'm really grateful that I get to because I definitely saw a huge improvement from my freshman year and then moving into varsity and getting to like surround myself around them. I definitely just noticed that my determination grows and that I kind of keep things in perspective more because they are such a great team that I have to remember that I'm also running my own races and running with them and for them and that I should be proud of like each race. I love you saying racing for them, right? Like how much of, uh, of I mean, while we see a, a TH you know, on, the, on the front of the kit and obviously you know, everybody you know, knows the legacy of the Mustangs or whatever, but at the end of the day, all of you racing for each other, for something bigger than, uh, than yourselves. Like how instrumental has that been already and, and will be you know, in, in the next four races, Lord willing, health providing? Well, I see the effort they put in every day and I know that I should be doing the same and putting in just as much effort as they are to improve and just to um, run the best I can. Awesome. Violet, Evangeline, Skylar, Sophie, Millie, Anna, Holly, girls, congratulations, well done.